morning muffins it's Cherie I'm here with a different kind of video just for you so if you are new to my channel um before baby <laughs> my husband and I ran an eBay store we still have it but we aren't as active as we used to be but thrifting is a hobby that we both really enjoy and we bonded over early in our relationship um so for my birthday I wanted to go thrifting all by myself and I actually came out with some pretty great treasures so I thought for the first time on this channel I'd do a thrift haul. Now, I've got a lot of stuff, so I'm going to jump right in. Um, I hit up Goodwill, and I think it did pretty good. So the first thing I got is super random. It's a large pair of wooden scissors. Um, I don't know. I got these because I thought they'd be super cute in Ace's playroom. Or, if I don't like them in there, eventually when I have my little craft corner, I thought this would be a cute little wall hanging. Uh, but they have a little thing on the back for hanging up, and I might paint them. I don't know. I just thought they were super cute. I got quite a bit of clothing items, not for moi, um, because I'm refusing to buy any more clothes until I'm in a smaller size. So I did get some goodies for, of course, Asa. So I got this super cute little man sweater. It's adorable. It's just like a knitted dark navy blue with little buttons and pockets. So cute, but the top of it is a little, it's got little horn, or little ears on it like a bear. So cute, I can't wait to put this on him. Um, I have to wash it, but oh god, it's from Baby Gap. So cute. I can't wait for him to wear it. I picked up some shorts for him for the summer. These look brand new. They look like they've never been worn. Um, they are not swim trunks. They're just normal little Carter's shorts. Great for summer. I picked up these adorable little, I don't know what you'd call these, like long johns. They're like long johns material, but they're tight. I got them because not only are they fitted and cute, but these are tight on the ends, and I feel like he's always trying to pull his sleeves up, so I feel like that would stop that. Um, these are by Jimbery. They might be a little big for him now, but I think he can still wear them. So I got this stripey cute one, and then I got this cute little one with moons and stars all over it. So cute. I picked him up another pair of shorts. Again, these are new with the tag still on. Uh, these are by, the, I think it's the children's place because it just says place. But super cute, again, little pockets, so him and his dad can match in the summer. And the last thing I got for him in clothes was a pair of pants. Again, super cute. They look they've never been worn. These are by Carter's, and they have little animals on them. And I am I'm obsessed with this dirty mustard brown color on him. I don't know why. I'm all of his clothes this color. I did get one thing for me, but it doesn't count as clothes because I sleep in them. But I love huge oversized sweatshirts. <laughs> I like them to fit me like a dress. And this one does, and I'm so excited. So I realized that I'm officially old because the thrift store has all the CDs that I worked my butt off at $5.15 an hour to buy for like $1.50. Old. I actually didn't buy any of my childhood favorites, even though I wanted to. Um, but I did get some car jams for Asa because we have one kid CD, and I'm if I hear it one more time, all of my brain is just going to drool out of my ear and I'm going to wreck the car. So I got some Disney uh, soundtracks. They were only $1.50. I got Beauty and the Beast, Sleeping Beauty, and The Lion King. Does anyone remember jamming out the summer this came out? I went to summer camp and I swear to God, every single camp counselor had this CD and they played it all day and all night. Hakuna Matata, baby. And I got the Beach Boys. I figured this was a good generic upbeat, kid-friendly, but not going to make me punch myself in the face, uh, band. Raise them right. I'm also really trying to make time to read, like, actual books. <laughs> so I took the time to go through the book section, and I picked out two that looked interesting. I don't know anything about these authors. I've never heard of these books, but this is called Above, and it's like a post-apocalyptic post sort of situation. I'm excited. And then this one's called The Forgotten Garden, and it's more of like a history coming of age history I don't know it's real thick um I'd like to read one book a month we'll see how long that lasts I got this super cute vintage curtain <laughs> it's just one panel but I got it because our camper has one window and I think this would be the perfect size and if you bunch it up it's not as see-through well it is with a giant light shining in it um <laughs> but I just thought this would be super cute uh to put on the camper door we have a casualty so I love anything handmade pottery. Um, I just love it. I love it. 
Uh, so I saw these and I snagged them super fast. So the first one is this huge, just gorgeous, gorgeous pitcher. I don't think I could use this in real life because it weighs about 47 pounds. Um, it has a little maker's mark on the bottom, but I don't know. I don't know if it's from like Pier 1, but she real pretty. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this because it's real thick and it's real big and it's real heavy. And if it was full of anything, I don't think I could lift it. And this one was the one that I was really, really happy and excited about. I wanted to put like lemonade in it in the summer, and, like sit outside. But when I got up to the register and I'd already paid, I realized that the handle had been repaired. Like someone had super glued it and it did not survive the car ride back to my house. So this is going to be in the trash, but it was so pretty and not as heavy. And, um, this one is signed Nancy Siegman, Siegmore. I don't know. But anyway, it was damaged when I bought it and I didn't want to ask them for a $2 refund. So I just went ahead and bought it and it did not survive. I'm not really sure why I bought this. This is the problem with thrift stores. You go and you're like, I have an idea. And then you have no idea why you bought it. I got a cheese ball holder. Sorry, my toddler's playing in the other room. So I got this because at Christmas time, I wanted to make a cheese ball, but I did not own a cheese ball platter. Um, and this one is super cute on the inside. And I just thought it was really adorable for like summertime something or like Thanksgiving something. Um, yeah, I'm going to put a cheese ball in it. <laughs> I am on the hunt for these. I really want the larger ones, um, but they're old mustard or cheese containers from back in the day. And they come with little rubber gaskets to keep them sealed. And I wanted to do these for sauerkraut or maybe some herbs and spices. Um, so anytime I'm at the thrift store and I find one of these, I'm going to snag it. I only found one. So now I only have one, but I'm looking for more. So these next few things are for Ace's Montessori. Um, we do very mild Montessori. I'm going to call it lazy Montessori because I'm not crazy, like psycho about it. Everything has to be perfect. Everything's wooden, nothing, nothing. Um, but I do try and implement as much as I can. And thrifting is a great place to find stuff for your Montessori journey because you can get stuff for super cheap. So the first thing I got was this basket. Asa actually picked this one out. Um, I love any kind of wickery baskets and I store his toys in here, activities, what have you. Um, or I might even put a plant in it for his playroom. I don't know, but he really liked that it had a duck head and uh, wings. So I got this for a dollar. I think this would be super cute. I might put some like seasonal treasures in there for him to explore. Um, I don't know. I just really like this <laughs> duck basket. Is it a duck? A goose? A duck duck goose? We are really trying to work on him with open open top cups. Um, and I have a couple that I use mostly espresso cups because they're super small. But he recently lost all but one of his like plastic um like newbie sippy cup whatever and i was like i'm not buying anymore we're gonna go to open cups or stainless steel like that's all we going so i wanted to pick up some more little cups for him these are super cute uh they're just you know i'm a sucker for pottery this is like a little handmade tina whitewood 1990 it's vintage <laughs> um they're just cute little cups. This was cute because it's like a little person coffee cup. So anyway, I'm just collecting these. I've got a couple. I figure if I have four, three or six, what well, will be good for like a day's worth of beveraging. Um, so yeah, we're going to start teaching him these cups. Now this, you're going to have to use your imagination, folks. In the Montessori Waldorfy world, they have these things called perpetual calendars. They're wooden and you can change out the pegs and they're really expensive. They're like 200 bucks and that does not include all the pegs. Um, they pricey. But I love how they look. They're so pretty. So I found this wooden <laughs> wall calendar for $2.99 and I'm going to refinish it. I really like this house, but I don't like this motif. So I'm either going to remove the house completely. I love this tree, but I'm either going to remove this house completely, which is what I'll probably do because I think I'm going to put the month or the season or something either here or here um, and just refinish it. And then I'm just going to buy the pegs that fit in here and paint them myself so that we have a monthly calendar and I can do the weather and then the, the month that it is and the days of the week. These are just stickers so I could just pull those off and again refinish that, paint it, whatever. I might paint it gray but I kind of like it brown. I don't know. Is anyone dead? So anyway, I just thought this was super cute. Um, it has a little hole back here for hanging it that you can't see on the front side but I just thought this was perfect, this was perfect for just making a little pegs for the seasons, then the months then like, I don't know. I just think I can do something with this, y'all. I'm pretty excited about it. Hopefully I don't just lay it in a corner and go, remember that time I was gonna paint you? 
<laughs> not happening. And this last thing, y'all, this is the pizza dillo resistance. So one of the things that really gets me going about Waldorf Montessori blah -bitty, blah -bitty, is the wooden toys, the little whimsical wooden toy sets. So cute, so pretty. All the college fund. Each little piece is like 15 bucks. They're ridiculous expensive. Um, and so I'm cruising through the basket aisle, you know, after I've already got my duck basket and I see this giant box on the bottom shelf and it's pushed way back. And the only part that you can see is that it's busted. Like the box is busted up. And I was like, why would they put a busted up box out here for somebody to buy? So I reached down to open it. <laughs> so this was the part that was showing. So it's like a busted up box. But then I saw woodland fantasies and I was like, that sounds familiar to me. I don't know what that is. I was thinking it was a giant doll. Y'all, it is an entire set of wooden dinosaur figurines. Like so many pieces. There's like 20 pieces. It comes with the landscape that's all wood. It's got some trees. <laughs> it's got some little bones, some little fossils. Oh my God, y'all. I was, I almost, I almost peed my pants like right there. It comes with this huge like wooden thing where you can put the scene together and then you can put your little dinosaurs like in the scene and like have them dinosaur. Oh my God, I almost peed my pants. I was so excited trying to contain myself. How much was it? There's like a little lake. You put the little lake. So anyway, I looked these up on eBay. I couldn't find the dinosaur one and I couldn't find a place to specifically buy this brand. So I don't know what's up with that. But the other sets that they had on sale were like $100 plus shipping and I got it for four bucks. <laughs> so mama's happy. I'm probably going to save this for his second birthday. So I think I'm going to ditch the box and then like wrap up the pieces for him as a little play set in his playroom. Um, Cause I feel like right now he's still kind of in the chewy stage and I know he'll eat these, but I'm so excited y'all. <laughs> I have never found a treasure in the thrift store that is quite like this one. Um, like it made my night. I had a pretty, I had a pretty rough birthday and th th this turned it around. It's like a pterodactyl. <laughs> so I can hear my offspring screaming in the other room, but that was my thrift haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this little video a thumbs up if you like this kind of stuff and I might start doing some non just food related videos. Um, especially thrift dolls because I love a good thrift store. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!